Have you received the architectural design brief from your client but you don't know where to start from? Or even how to translate it into sketches? In this tutorial, we will read together an example of a design brief and we will try to translate it into sketches. For that, we will start with bubble diagrams because bubble diagrams will allow you to start your plans or your model. For that, let's jump into the video and explain. Welcome back to Tips with Mona. If you haven't seen me before, hi, my name is Mona Abu Fayyad. I'm an architect and a designer. On this platform, I explain some designing and architectural tips for you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It will help me a lot. Please don't forget to share, like, and hit the notifications bell on if you haven't already so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. But for now, let's start. So this is a very simple design brief, it's one of the simplest design briefs that you would see. But it's better to start with a simple design brief so you can understand it and absorb it very easily. First you will have your client info. Let's say that our client's name is Steve Graham. From this name we can understand that this is not company or real estate company, this is just a person that wants to build something. His location is in Dubai, UAE, and this is his email address. Also, of course, you can have his mobile number right here. And then you will have the design description. Usually, this category would be a bigger paragraph. It might explain more than this, or they might leave it to you if you're assigned to create the concept as well. Okay, let's read it. In the design description, they are mentioning that they need a two-bedroom residential unit for parents in their 40s and a kid who is five years old and the budget does not exceed three million dirhams so from this description uh, we realize that we need a two bedroom residential unit for three people two adults and one kid and the budget is three million dirhams or less the site location is in jumeira village triangle dubai uae this location will make it so easy for me to understand the weather and the site analysis and then they are saying that the affection plan is attached now i don't have this certain affection plan but i have an example that i would like to show you how the affection plans are here in dubai so let me open it for you so this is how you will receive your affection plan this is just an example that i got from google but this is how we receive them here in dubai and basically it's more or less the same everywhere so you will receive your plot limit right here and the bigger location and then you will get some information about the plot like here they are mentioning that the use of this plot should be residential and the height is just a ground floor plus one and uh, the parkings they are mentioning that you can get at least one parking and the setbacks are three meters from each side of the uh, buildings and then they are writing a note right here that you have to check with the beaches management at dubai municipality before the construction and here you can get the coordinations of the plot so this is basically the plot here if you zoom in i think you can have the exact dimensions of the plot so this will make your life so easy if you start from here okay now into the building details building details they are mentioning that they need a small family villa it should be modern they need a fenced garden and it could be done as two-story building of course so these details will help me a lot to draw a small circle of the requirements and to start thinking how my bubble diagram will look like so i can then produce the plans and then right here the most important thing is the program and the program is where they are mentioning how many rooms they need and what are the areas of 
each space in this program and this is a very important point so here they are mentioning that they need two bedrooms each one of them is 35 square meters the office is nine square meters one maid room nine square meters one powder room four square meters one open kitchen 35 square meters one living plus dining 40 square meters entrance and lobby each one of them is four square meters and as you can see right here at the end they are showing some inspiration images for the villa so it seems very basic and very modern but very simple so after reading the design brief you should be able to do two things from this design brief the first thing you want to do is the bubble diagram the bubble diagram is something that could be very helpful if you do it in the right way you can get many information from this design brief that we just read together you can draw the bubbles in a way to reflect the areas of each space and the sequence of these spaces. The second thing that you can do out of this design brief is the site analysis. It's very important. If you have the affection plan, you can start immediately doing the site analysis. You can draw your plot and then you can start studying the site, adding the wind, sun, temperatures and everything you need the landmarks the neighborhood your setbacks your setbacks are so important to define this plot all right after doing your bubble diagram you can start drawing on your pre-prepared site okay so now let me show you the bubble diagram that i can analyze out of this design brief so i studied this design brief so carefully and then I reflected what I understood in a bubble diagram that I'm gonna show you now. The bubble diagram that I understood from this design brief is this one. So, as you can see, I provided all the requirements right here in a ground floor and first floor as required. First of all, I started with a required entrance of 4 square meters. From this entrance, you can go to your powder room or the maid's room. And then, if you continue straight, you can get into your living dining room and you can go to your open kitchen. And this is our ground floor. And then, if you continue and take the stairs to the first floor, you will face a lobby of 4 square meters and then I isolated the office in one side to make it quiet and this is an office with 9 square meters and then we have the two ensuite bedrooms with 35 square meters each. After doing the bubble diagram, I can easily imagine how I want my plan to look like how I want to organize the functions and the rooms, the spaces in my plan. Of course, you will need to put something, remove something. You will find out that things this way doesn't work. So I need to move this one right here and this one right there. But this is the best way to start your idea from. And if you noticed in my bubble diagrams, I reflected the sizes of each space. In this way, I tried to divide the functions and the spaces in the correct way. So if you noticed, I tried to put the maid's room and the powder room at the very beginning. These spaces are so small and we don't need to keep them interacting with our living dining. On the other hand, we will need the open kitchen so close to the living and dining. And this is where all the activities at the house happen, whereas the quiet places such as the bedrooms and the office need to be separated or divided from the ground floor. This is the quiet place in the house. So we need a bedroom for the parents right here and the kid should be close to his parents and the office should be in the quiet area of the house but at the same time it's not so close to the rooms. And I also tried to put the spaces with close area above each other so we can avoid changing in the masses in our model we will have few changes in the mass but this won't affect us too much maybe this will create a dynamic movement in our masses and then i tried to put all the width areas above each other so here we have the powder room open kitchen the two bedrooms with their bathrooms above each other so it will be easier for the MEP to get connected 
So these are the things that you should think about when you try to design anything and when you get a design brief from your client. If you think that this video is informative, please show that in the comments section below. And please tell me if you need me to continue doing a plan for this bubble diagram that I just created in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and hit the notifications bell on to get notified whenever I upload a video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.